Hello, my dear students of class say Today we are going to read the story A Short Monsoon Diary by Ruskin Bond, one of my most favorite author. Now, I think you have already read something written by Ruskin Bond, a story or a poem. He is a prolific Indian writer. He is of British origin. That is, uh, he had parents, Anglo-Indian parents. He has authored many, many children's books and young adults fiction and uh, he has been awarded the Sahitya Academy Award because of his work of literature. Now his work um, reflects his childhood days and his boyhood years when he spent his life amidst nature in North India, okay, in the Himalayan, middle Himalayan and lower Himalayan uh, region. So he had a lovely life there. This story also tells you about a period of his life. It's like a diary entry. Okay, it's like a diary entry in which he talks about a lot of different things which happened during the monsoon. I think you have already read a few uh, notable diary entries like the one by Anne Frank. Okay, so um, short monsoon diary is also a compilation of a few diary entries by Ruskin Bond. They takes us into a journey he takes us into a journey and the way he describes all these different things it's like he transports us over there okay so let us begin the story a short monsoon diary <clears throat> open your main textbook page number 113 the first entry is on june 24 that is the summer season monsoon season during that time the first day of monsoon mist <coughs> and it's strange how all the birds fall silent as the mist comes climbing up the hill. Perhaps that's what makes the mist so melancholy. Not only does it conceal the hills, it blankets them in silence too. Only an hour ago, the trees were ringing with bird song, and now the forest is deathly still as though it were midnight. So mist, what is the meaning of mist? Mist, it's like a cloud with tiny water droplets, okay. The kind that we have during the, before, just before the sun rises, during that time or just after the sun rises, a very light cloudy, uh, cloudy kind of weather where small droplets of water can be felt. So the first day of monsoon mist, during the monsoon often we get this kind of weather, especially in the hilly region, means it's not as if water is falling or rain is falling all the time, but there's a misty weather. Because of that misty weather, everything seems so sad, so melancholy. Why? Because when the mist comes, everything falls silent. Even the birds, they become, uh, you know, very, very quiet. So a mist, I have told you, it's like a cloud of tiny water droplets suspended in the atmosphere. You can get the dictionary meaning anytime you want. And uh, because of that, a feeling of sadness ensues upon the mind of the writer, Ruskin Bond. And it is strange how all the birds fall silent. Okay, as if the when whenever the mil, mist is coming up the hill, okay, as if it is coming from down, towards the upper hills as it is coming up the hills all the birds fall silent and because the whole world like birds are like the life of nature right the tweetering sound of the birds the tweet tweet we hear every morning if they fall silent it seems there is sadness around us and because of that the mist seems to be melancholy full of sadness for him not only does it conceal conceal means to uh, hide okay not only does it hide the hills it blankets them in silence too as if like a blanket as if like a cover that you put on to keep yourself warm like that the mist kind of blankets them in silence okay there is additionally along with the mist silence also comes up only an hour ago, the trees were ringing with bird song. So many birds were singing and it's like the trees were also reverberating with that beautiful melody of birds. And now the forest is deadly still. It means like death. Okay, like death. Resembling death. Deathly still. Still means completely silent. Not moving. As though it were midnight. 
Through the mist, Biju is calling to his sister. I can hear him running about on the hillside, but I cannot see him because it is mist. I cannot see him. Now comes June 25th. Some genuine early monsoon rain, warm and humid. And not that cold, high, high altitude stuff we've been having all year. The plant seems to know it too. And the first cobra lily rears its head from the ferns as I walk up the bank and post office. The mist affords a certain privacy. A schoolboy asked me to describe the hill station and valley in one sentence. And all I could say was a paradise that might have been. Okay. <clears throat> so, in, it is the next morning and uh, it is the next morning and some genuine early monsoon rain can be felt genuine why as if it it is coming with the proper form like a genuine person like a person who is true to his nature that means not a fake monsoon but a real monsoon rain is falling and it is warm and humid okay warm and humid that is the way it is the temperature and that not that cold high altitude stuff we've been having all year that means throughout the year we have some uh, throughout the year because of the high altitude because of the high mountains in which we stay there is some form of rain which comes most of the year the cold rain kind of like that this is not like that this is a normal regular genuine rain the plants seem to know it too and the plants even have understood that this is the proper monsoon which has come the proper rainfall is happening and that is why to welcome the rain they are rearing their head the mist offers a certain privacy a certain kind of privacy uh, can be afforded that means uh, as if the mist gives you a little bit of privacy you can walk anywhere without being seen you can uh, pretend not to look at somebody when you are walking on the street even though you can understand there is a person there okay so kind of privacy nobody interferes because nobody can see the other person clearly because of that the mist affords a certain privacy means because of the mist we get a little kind of privacy a schoolboy asked me to describe the hill station hill station means the place where they are staying and valley in one sentence that is the hill station and place uh, valley in which you stay describe it in one sentence probably some schoolboy had asked ruskin bond and he could say a paradise that might have been that is it is a veritable paradise okay it is so beautiful that it can almost have been a paradise it can almost be described as a paradise okay it might have been real paradise it is so beautiful okay paradise means we know paradise has certain different definitions for different people but it generally means a very blissful and ideal place okay heavenly place now come to june 27 the rains have heralded the arrival of some seasonal visitors a leopard and several thousand leeches <laughs> what a sentence to to just jumble together two different completely different creatures both by nature one is a leopard and one is a leech both beginning with l but being so different from each other nobody we can all understand right so because of the monsoon it has as if announced it has uh, somehow brought and a beginning of two diff two many many visitors among them a leopard which is a dangerous ferocious animal and a leech the most disturbing and irritating creature okay it comes up on your body if you have been to a hill station or not even a hill station ev even in some kind of forest area i have been attacked by leech once so it gets stuck to your body okay somewhere mostly leg if you are not wearing the proper kind of uniform or anything dress then it gets stuck up and you wouldn't even understand when it got up after a while it will suck out your blood and it will become really fat okay all of you know what leeches do right they take out the blood from the body and they become very fat and globby slobby and then they fall okay now um, this is something which is heralded that is because of the rain leopard and leech unwelcome visitors have also come into the hills yesterday afternoon the leopard lifted a dog from near the servants quarter below the school in the evening it attacked one of biju's cows but fled at the approach of biju's mother 
who came screaming imprecations imprecations means curses okay so the leopard has come already and it has already encroached into their world yesterday the leopard had taken a dog okay it had lifted a dog though it is like very uncommon i don't know why this happened that one carnivorous animal does not generally take or eat another carnivorous animal okay they generally eat cows or goats other herbivorous animals or uh, maybe because the dogs are more ferocious also they can escape but anyway this leopard it took a dog it uh, ate a dog obviously from below the servant's quarter in the evening it attacked one of biju's cows but fled at the approach of biju's mother who came screaming imprecations in the evening he uh, attacked the dog attacked the cow of biju and when the mother of biju came by screaming curses you bad you bad filthy leopard like that the mother was screaming and then it went away okay so the leopard was also quite afraid of biju's mother as for the leeches i shall soon get used to a little blood letting every day blood letting means the act of giving out blood okay actually as you have seen uh, previously what happened when science was not so much improved like now if somebody had some kind of bad infection in the blood so physicians or other doctors kind of people who had a knowledge about these things they would bring leeches and put that those things in that spot the leeches would take away the bla- bad blood and that person would have been he- healed it was believed in that way even now many many in many places you will see this practice is still prevalent okay so the leeches were brought to remove the blood from a person's body in order to rejuvenate their blood sometimes or sometimes to drive away the infectious blood okay or the bad blood so he is saying as for the leeches who have also come into our place i think i'll be getting used to them i'll be getting used to a little bit of blood letting every day that means every day ruskin bond and his fellows were being attacked by the leeches it was a common thing for them just like mosquito is for us leeches are for them and the leeches would be taking a little bit of blood from them every day okay other new arrivals are the scarlet minivets the females are yellow okay so it's like a bird okay it's a red bird like a cuckoo so the scarlet minivet flitting silently among flitting silently among the leaves like brilliant jewels no matter how leafy the trees these brightly colored birds cannot conceal themselves although by remaining absolutely silent they sometimes contrive to go unnoticed so such a beautiful exp- <coughs> expression okay so the birds they flit flit means moving swiftly okay swiftly and lightly in a light manner in a swift manner the way the birds move so these beautiful birds they have come they have also come into their world because of monsoon they have also come there and they flit silently among the leaves like bright brilliant jewels like jewels they are so beautiful they are so colorful that they move from one place to the other place they flit here and there like brilliant jewels no matter how leafy the trees no matter how many leaves are there in the trees the brightly colored birds cannot conceal themselves they are so beautiful their colors are so brilliant that no matter how how many leaves are there in the tree these birds can never conceal themselves okay although sometimes by remaining completely silent they can conceal themselves okay people might mistake them for being flowers of the trees because they are so beautiful and if they do not move if they remain silent they might conceal themselves they might hide themselves along came a pair of drongos unnecessarily aggressive chasing the mini vets away so again a pair of drongos a uh, songbird okay they have a big bill bill means the front portion of their beak so this another kind of bird also came they have a song it's like a song but why don't you google up the image it will be easier for you to understand it is a song bird with glossy black plumage it is generally found in africa southern asia and australia they are kind of aggressive okay they are like always in an attacking mode and they came and the two min- and the little minivets they went away a tree creeper meaves 
moves rapidly up the trunk of the oak tree, snapping up insects all the way. Now that the rains are here, there is no dearth of food for the insectivorous birds. Okay. A tree creeper moves rapidly up the trunk of the oak tree, snapping up insects all the way. So even the insectivorous uh, birds, okay, those who feed on insects and worms on the tree, they are also moving and they are getting a lot of insects on the way. Okay. Now come to the next part, <coughs> August 2nd. All night the rain has been drumming on the corrugated tin roof. There has been no storm. There has been no storm, no thunder, just the steady swish of a tropical downpour. It helps me to lie awake at the same time it doesn't keep me from sleeping. It is a good sound to read by, the rain outside, the quiet within. And although tin roofs are given to springing unaccountable leaks, there is a feeling of being untouched by and yet in touch with the rain. Okay, so this is again a very small snippet, a very small piece of diary entry which he has done and uh, probably the time in which he wrote all these things, he had no idea that he will become such a famous writer. So whatever expressions you get are genuine. Okay, all the expressions that he's making, it's not because of making money or anything. It's not for giving it to a publisher, but it's something, it's the quiet musings of a young boy, maybe your age, okay. And how he is accepting the sound of the rain, how it is affecting him. So on the night he is writing, all night the rain has been drumming on the corrugated tin roof. Corrugated means this kind of, um, you know, having parallel layer of folds. The kind of tin roofs that we generally see, they are layered. Okay, like that. That is called corrugated. Having parallel rows of folds that look like a series of waves. So like that, the tin roof has been made that way. There has been no storm. So the sound of the rain is like sound of drums because they are falling in a pitter patter fashion but because it is falling on the tin roof it is making a huge noise there has been no storm no thunder just the steady swish swish is again a word which tells you about the sound of the rain okay swish or the fall of the rain of the tropical downpour tropical downpour means the downpour or the rainfall of the heavy rainfall in the tropical regions it helps me to lie awake at the same time it doesn't keep me from sleeping. It helps me to lie awake means the sound of the rain is so comforting it helps me uh, that uh, continuous sound it makes him stay awake all the at the same time it does not disturb him if he wants to sleep also he can sleep in that sound. That sound is so familiar and comfortable to him he can even sleep. It is a good sound to read by. The rain outside, the quiet within. That is, the inside of his house is completely quiet. Everybody is sleeping. And uh, outside this patter, constant and continuous downpour. And uh, it is a good sound to read by. That means this is like a comfortable sound. This is a good sound, um, kind of white noise pr being provided by the rain, which helps him to read. And although tin roofs are given to... Uh, springing uncountable, unaccountable re leaks. That means sometimes this kind of tin roof, they become, they have a lot of leaks. Okay. There is a feeling of being untouched by and yet in touch with the rain. Even though some tin roofs might leak and actually the rain might fall, but the presence of the tin roof make him feel as if he is part of the rain because the sound is always coming, yet not directly being touched by the rain to disturb his existence. Okay, August 3rd, <coughs> the rain stops, the clouds begin to break up, the sun strikes the hill on my left, a woman is chopping up the sticks, I hear the tinkle of cowbells. In the oak tree, a crow shakes the raindrops from his feather and calls disconsolately. Very important, disconsolately, the word. Water drips from a leaking drain pipe and suddenly, clean and pure, the song of the whistling thrush emerges like a dark, sweet secret from the depths of the ravine. Okay, so thrush is another bird. 
thrush is another bird which is like <coughs> very you know extremely sweet and melodious sound is there so next morning the rain stops and the clouds begin to break up they move away and i can see that a woman is chopping up sticks for fire okay or for cooking whatever purpose and then i hear the tinkle of cowbells that the cows are being taken to the pasture land because it's not raining so they can go and they can uh, eat grass all day that the sound of the cowbells he can hear and the in the oak tree he can see that a crow is shaking their body and so that the raindrops fall from their feathers i know you have seen this sight the birds after the rainfall stops they shake their body to take away the uh, raindrops okay <clears throat> and he is cawing disconsolately that is he is making a cawing sound in an unhappy manner maybe disconsolately here might even reflect the mind of the author and in the caw of the crow he is as if finding a reflection of his own state of mind okay but this is not directly stated by him and this is something which we can simply gesture at water drips from a leaking drain pipe there was a leaking drain pipe also and the water is dripping so all this observation ruskin bond is making after the rain stops and suddenly clean and pure the song of the whistling thrush thrush is a very small small bird small or medium sized song bird okay and it comes up from the deep narrow gorge that is the ravine is like a gorge okay very deep and narrow gorge it is coming from the sound the whistling thrush is coming and it emerges like a dark sweet secret from the depths of the ravine it is an expression there isn't actually a ravine he is talking about it seems as if the sound of the whistling bird the sound of the thrush is like a secret which you are hearing from the depth suppose you are walking on a mountain side and you are looking into the depth into a ravine you are looking and from there you get a sweet secret okay so dark sweet secret that means something which takes away the darkness from something okay the sound of the song but i want you all to read this paragraph once again and i want your interpretation on it that how does the song bird affect ruskin bond okay we can discuss it on our live class okay a little bit of the chapter is left we are going to continue it in our live class okay students so today i'm going to stop over here thank you